pause for Monty drinking water. October favorites. It's time and it's November already. I can't even believe it. My favorite month is over. But it's still fall vibes. I'm not yeah. the type to turn into Christmas mode on November 1st, so I'm still going for the fall um, vibes this month. But we do have a few favorites for you. Murphy is rejoining this month, although he did appreciate my mention of the Therma Pen in September's favorites. So we're gonna get started here with, I'm gonna label it as personal care, but you know, makeup, body, skincare, all of those good things. Um, and the first for me is going to be this Embryolisse. It's a multi-function um, moisturizer. I got this when we were in France, but you can get this um, on most like beauty websites. You, I just ordered another one on Cult Beauty actually, um, but I just use this as a daily moisturizer and it's also commonly used by makeup artists as like a skin prep for makeup and I will say it does help um, evenly distribute the makeup and it doesn't leave like dry patches or anything so this has been really great it does have a light floral scent um, I'm not super triggered by that I did tell my friend to try this as well she has a bit more sensitive skin than I do and she said it didn't really bother her either so yeah it's worth giving a shot um, I've been loving it and like I said I just ordered another one so and my second one is going to be Glossier Glossier uh, stretch concealer and I already have the skin tint so I picked up the concealer when we were in London it's a balm concealer and it just melts um, into the skin really nice I find that some um, Concealers like in the tube are a bit more drying and yeah, this just like goes on really nice I put it on my ring finger and just apply it and Been loving it. So that's all I've got for the personal care category this month. All right for me my first item is my everyday deodorant uh, Malin and gets the eucalyptus scent pretty good. Um, I've been using this for a little bit for a while it's uh, a long time Evan left his yeah before we moved to England his friend and he's been hooked it smells great it is a little bit more on the expensive side but I think it lasts pretty long like I may have only had to buy two or three in the year um, probably only two yeah and it's a not I think it's, it's a quality. natural deodorant I don't remember what where I got this one last time um, Space and K is where I just purchased this one, but mm -hmm. I think you can also get that on like Cult Beauty, or if you if you just Google it, you can get it probably most places. And they have three different scents. Yeah, the other two, not great for deodorant. They make candles, which they probably smell okay, but uh, I like the eucalyptus. Yeah, it's nice. And then my other product is the conditioner I've been using. Monday. Yeah, pretty simple. They have a couple different types so this one is the gentle but there's um, some that are more moisturizing some that are for thinner hair but um, I like this one it has coconut oil and I have the shampoo as well okay next on the list is entertainment so going back to my guilty pleasure of reality TV the Kar Kardashians did start up again and um, that's on Hulu and I watch it on Disney plus and they're just one of those shows that I've been watching, my mom watched, and so I kind of grew up watching it, and so I enjoy watching them. Um, and yeah. Uh, and next is The Fall of the House, House of Usher. I'm sure a bunch of people are talking about this on the internet. It is by the same directors that did um, Haunting of Hill House and Haunting of Bly Manor, and I think a few different things, but I think Haunting of Hill House is probably the most notable. So it is a bit on the creepy side. If you don't like that, I probably wouldn't recommend it. But what's cool is it's after the poem by Edgar Allan Poe. And so they throw elements of the poem in there. And then they actually also um, do elements of his other 
works as well i'm not super versed on his works but i know like the raven specifically that popped up in there and so yeah it was really cool and really well made and he reused some of the same actors actresses um that he did in haunting of hill house that i know or i yeah i i noticed so that was really good and you even thought it was good considering you don't usually like creepy th stuff yeah it was interesting enough of a like plot, plot yeah that yeah kept you into it that was good and it was a perfect october um show so mm -hmm. okay next is gonna be home category um so we've got two like more new things to us um, that we're really excited about. So one, we got an espresso machine. We finally caved and bought a hot coffee machine. We've pretty much been living off um, homemade cold brew the past like two years, which I love. I'm definitely more of a cold coffee person, but I really just have wanted, I like hot coffee if it's made well. I don't really just like a pot of coffee. And so I finally caved and I bought an espresso and it's super nice. It was only, we got um, the Virtuo Pop and it was only like 99 euros and they were doing a deal where you also got like this nice garbage can for the pods um a holder for the pods and then you got like an intro pack to a few different pods as well and we've been loving it i will say i've turned into a warm coffee girl i put cold almond milk in but they have the espresso pods and that's what we use the most of and it's just it's so tasty and it's yeah it gives you that strong coffee flavor and i've been loving it and i what i do also love about it is that you can get a free recycling bag and they make recycling easy so you don't really have to think about it that much so you can send it by post drop it at an espresso boutique or when you order new nespresso pods whoever delivers it you can give the um recycled bag full of your pods to them to bring back so nice. i think that's a really cool element then number two for me are these knives. So we got these dinner knives. The brand is La Guiole. It's French. Um, and they have these nice little bees on them. And these are really beautiful French um, dinner knives that our friends bought for us. And this is something we've just been neglecting to buy um, is a dinner knife set. And so this was a very unexpected but much needed um, gift. And they are amazing. They're great for what you need them to do. And yeah, it's just nice to have like, an, uh, like a nice dinner set. And these will be following us um, everywhere we move now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's great. Okay, mine is a wick cutter for your candles. We've been lighting a lot of candles in the house. Uh, more this fall, but usually all the time. Mm -hmm. I like candles. Um, so this wick cutter is nice. You're getting ready, or when you're getting ready to light your candle, just clip the wick off from last time, the top part, and it makes them last a lot longer um, and they don't burn as high. So you get a lot more out of your candles with it. And yeah, I think it's definitely something to have in the house. Yep. Next up, food and beverage. Um, not much in this category this month. I'm kind of a creature of habit, but this is one of the things that has been habitual every week, and that is chicken burgers. Now, this isn't revolutionary in any way. We just buy the patties already made um, at Albert Hein, but they're ground chicken with jalapeno in them, so they're slightly spicy, but not too much. But then the way we make them is we put some bacon on top and then make a guacamole that has red onions and lime juice in it and top that instead of adding like cheese and all of that. And it's been the most delicious meal. We always get at least four burgers and then we have two dinners in a row and I have not gotten sick of that. We've probably had them for like a month, month and a half. Um, and we made these for our friends when they came and they enjoyed them as well. They were good. And yeah, we had them last night. In fact, I should have taken a video, <laughs> but yeah, they're just super yummy and not too bad for you. So, all right, we have books. Um, for me, I'll just put mine on the screen cause I read on Kindle and it's the second book in the Serpent and the Wings of Night series. And that one was surprisingly good. I was a little nervous sometimes second books like it's not necessary or it's just like too much jibber jabber and not enough like plot 
it was pleasantly surprising especially the second half i was like zooming through it and um yeah it was it was very good and it's going to be a series of like six i think so i'll just have to wait and see the next one comes out in the spring so that's that for me murphy surprisingly has book favorites Ooh. this month yeah I, for some reason i've been reading i don't normally like that's reading, good i've just been making myself do it um so and he's been speeding through it yeah once you get into it it's good it is good. Um, my suggestion is uh, a James Patterson series. So this is books two and three of the series. Um, the first one is called The Black Book. Um, and then I have The Red Book and The Escape, but they all follow the same, uh, the same guy. This last one just came out last year, so uh, it's pretty new and up to date. But um, I've always liked James Patterson. I like thrillers and uh, those are really good. And I just finished another James Patterson book um that was not a part of that series that was uh four out of five stars but these were really good good job i'm proud of you reading now he's under sharp objects by jillian flynn which is amazing and then we'll watch the show yeah and then i just ordered a bunch of new books so i'll finish that one by the time those come nice. so it'll be perfect timing i don't think we've done uh anything in this category yet um but it's clothing or clothing shoes you know in that realm for me this was a a purchase I didn't think I would be making, but clearly love, and that's the Adidas Gazelles. Um, I mean, I feel like we all know these are trendy, but I am always late to trends, not because I don't know about them, but because I really have to think about whether I like it for the trend or if I'm actually going to like it. And I was on the search for like a black sneaker anyways, because I mostly have white sneakers. And I tried them on at the store and I loved them and I they're way more comfortable than I expected considering they're more of a narrow sneaker. Um, but I walked all around London in them. Um, I've gone out a few times around here with them and I'll bring them on the next trip as well. And yeah, they just kind of go with everything and they're really cute and they're comfy. So I've been loving that. Nice. I don't think I have too much new. I got my Vejas finally, which I've showed uh, in the last video and I wear them almost every day. Um, I won't show them because they're dirty and because uh, I had to bike home in the rain today. But um, yeah, those are good. And then I've just got some basic stuff from Zara recently. I like Zara. Yeah. Um, so good for the winter. Okay. Last on the list is habits and any miscellaneous things that didn't fit in these categories. Um, for me, in October, um, it was Walktober, I started, I mean, I think it's a coin term for other things, but like in my world, I like thought of that in high school or middle high school because I loved the weather in October. It's my favorite month and it encourages you to get out and move. Um, I walk normally every day anyways, but I set a goal to walk one and a half miles minimum um, every day in one go with Monty in the month of October. And I hit nearly every day. There were a couple days where it was like pouring rain because um, I like to do it when, you know, at like dusk or when it's, you know, dark. Um, and so, yeah, I did miss a few days, but for the most part, I hit it. And yeah, it really kept me accountable and it kept Monty happy as well. So loved that. And I did force Murphy on a couple of them. So that is all I've got for habits and miscellaneous. We did get into Rugby World Cup. We watched we a lot of rugby um, and still don't fully understand the sport, but... Uh, I feel much more confident in knowing what's going on, but I it's going to go out my head yes. now because it's not on. Yeah, but it was good. Uh, we Disappointing. Watched, we watched, yeah, the quarterfinals probably all the way through the finals and we were cheering for New Zealand, so it was sad when they lost, but... Big bummer. Um, it was a good match. Mm -hmm. um, all right, well, that concludes our favorites for October. And yeah, I think we will be doing a gift guide video um, probably before December. And that will include a lot of kind of similar things or other things that we just would want or um, already have and get a lot of good use out of that would be good for a variety of um, people. So we'll be doing that, so stay tuned. Otherwise, we've got some vlogs coming up, and yeah, thanks for watching.
Give us a like if you're enjoying our stuff. Bye. Peace.